Within the last hour, we received new information on a meeting between Kroger and its employees happening next week. You know, this comes as the union discusses a possible strike. 10 TV reporter Kevin Landers is live outside the Kroger in New Albany. And Kevin, you have some new information about the negotiations, right? Yeah, we just learned that the union says it is reporting that it has convinced management to come back to the bargaining table on Tuesday, September 27th. Meanwhile, workers here are in dispute over how much Kroger employees are paid. And one worker contacted 10TV and brought his pay stub with him to prove the numbers don't add up. What this Kroger employee is about to say about the company's claims regarding its wages, he says, could get him fired. So he asked we not identify him. I feel that the company is giving false information and making the workers, by stating that we make about 17 an hour right now, is largely <laughs> incorrect and it almost makes us look kind of greedy to be going for more. After 10TV questioned the $17 an hour wage, Kroger responded by saying it was the average hourly rate for a full-time cashier. Kroger employees rejected the most current contract and are demanding better pay. Workers say they're not satisfied with the company's wage offer, even though Kroger says it's invested $120 million in new wages over the past three years. What, what is your hourly rate? Uh, currently, I make $15 an hour. I've been with Kroger, uh, it'll be four years in January. Um, and after, if the contract that we had just voted on went through, I would only make $15.75. Kroger employee emailed us saying, I promise you that the starting pay that they posted is an out and out lie. I've been with Kroger for over 23 years. I'm just at $18 an hour. Kroger is offering 65 cent raises in 2022, 50 cent raises in 2023, and 65 cent raises in 2024. But employees who emailed 10TV say it's not enough. We deserve more money than the pennies they are offering. We went from heroes to zeros. Every store is shorthanded and every employee is stressed, overworked and underappreciated. And now we are disappointed that the company thinks we are not worth more. What do you want customers of Kroger to know? I want them to know that we're not trying to be greedy about money. We just want enough money to live. As for going on strike, Kroger posted this message September 13th, hoping to discourage employees from walking off the job, telling employees if they do, no one wins. What is your feeling about whether Kroger employees will strike. I think it may happen, but we don't know when. Kroger says it's important to note that its total compensation package also includes a pension, something that it says only 7% of businesses in the United States still offer. Reporting live near New Albany, Kevin Landers, 10TV News.